Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, uh, you can find me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. This is my floss two channel where I talk about all things cross stitch and anything else I feel like. And tonight will be one of those nights where it's a little bit more of the anything else I feel like. Um, this is episode 47, getting close to 50. Um, tonight is October 28th for about an hour and 15 minutes more. Um, first things first, I did an unboxing of the Starlight Stitchery Sleepy Hollow Stitch Box and it is up on my channel. It is the most recent video other than this one. It went up yesterday. Um, technically today, but for you, yesterday. Um, that is an amazing box. I will not give any spoilers. Uh, for those of you who have not gotten your boxes yet, um, it's a really good box. So, it's been a few weeks, three weeks, since my last video. And this video is probably gonna be really boring because in that three weeks, I've probably stitched about one week worth. I really lost my stitchy bug. I don't know where it went. It's gone on a vacation. It's uh, peaced out and just said, you know what, I'm gonna, I need a break. So we'll regroup, we'll circle back around. Um, I feel like it's coming back. Uh, I, I do feel the urge a little bit more to stitch. I just haven't yet. Um, and I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why I don't feel compelled to stitch. I don't know if I'm just not inspired by what I'm working on or if I'm still adjusting to this life change of Brett being on overnights, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I wish I knew. I feel like it would, <laughs> it would make things a lot better for me if I knew why I didn't want to stitch. But I mean, I, I keep my stitching in our living room. And after Amelia goes to bed, that's usually when I sit and stitch for a couple hours. And I have found that once she goes to bed, I, I don't want to do anything. I, I haven't even watched TV this week because I just, I literally don't want to do anything. I just want to sit on the couch and look at my phone, which is probably not the best thing to do. Um, I have taken up couponing, which has been an unexpected thing for me. So I haven't like, I haven't watched any floss tube. I am really behind on watching Courtney's daily videos and uh, keeping up with the tally of her guessing. Um, and surprisingly, I haven't gotten any spoilers. Uh, nobody has posted anything, so I, I haven't been spoiled either. So when I go back and watch them, it'll, it'll really be like I am still not knowing what she's unboxing. Um, and Courtney... For those, uh, Courtney Lancaster, Stitches Please, here on YouTube and on Instagram, she's doing a daily unboxing of the Black Needle Society Trick or Treat box. So, um, so if you want to see that, go check her out. Um, she'll be linked down below in the description box. I will have the Advent box. Um, I believe that ships sometime in November, um, and I will be doing daily uploads for that um but yeah I'm like I'm just I don't know I feel like I'm kind of all over the place but kind of not um something also out of character for me and this I and I mean really out of character because I rarely drink I have like the tiniest little bit of wine I used uh in my primrose cottage stitch and sip and sip and stitch box, their Halloween box, which they just announced a Christmas box. But if you watch the video where I talked about the box, I think I'm going to wait 
see what the pattern is. Maybe ask my friend Jordan to send me pictures. Um, because they do, they did restock a few times. So, um, I think I might wait on the Christmas box. But anyways, um, I had a recipe, pot roast, it was a pot roast recipe that called for, I don't know, a little bit of red wine. And, um, so this bottle has been sitting in my fridge for like a week, which I think is technically over the amount of time that it's considered good, which I, I took a wine class in college. My parents were proud. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not, so hopefully, well, I was gonna say grab a drink, but you're gonna be watching this in the morning most likely. So, um, yeah, that's not bad. It's like a, I think this is a two buck chuck for those of you who don't know, Two Buck Chuck is a really cheap wine you get at Trader Joe's. But something I learned in my wine class, it's actually grapes from really well-known wineries and it's their excess grapes that are sent to Two Buck Chuck, Charles Shaw, and they make wine out of it. So you're, you're actually drinking, you know, really good stuff. Uh, same with Franzia, surprisingly. Uh, anyways, okay, totally off. <laughs> there's your there's your little uh, wine lesson for the day, and you will probably never get one from me again. Um, anyways, so yes, my stitchy bug just kind of left me. Um, I will show you what I did work on before it went on vacation. Um, before I do, I was contacted by Molly Ollie. First time I heard about Molly Ollie was in a video by Nell, um, Little Yellow House Crafts. Um, Molly Ollie has this Mimo Caddy. That's the back of it. Um, this Mimo Caddy, it was designed as a, uh, like a diaper caddy for babies. Um, I'm pretty sure I had something like this when Amelia was born. And they found that a lot of crafters started using it, which I'm um, not surprised because the design of this is actually really great. I really enjoy it. Right now I have the insert here, but this is Velcroed. So you can take out this, this separator. So it's just one large thing, which I think is probably what I will do once I finish some of these projects because then it'll be able to fit my project bags a little bit better. Um, but you got three slip pockets in the front uh, and slip or the back and three slips in the front and a little card that comes with it that says thanks. Thanks for ordering. Um, and then there's a zipper pocket that has the elastics. I keep my scissors in there and I keep my extra Adam Hart Floss Drop Bobbins. She is doing a launch for her February collection. Did I really just say February? Okay. Her November collection. Um, check out her Instagram for what the, the colors are because they are gorgeous. Um, I have extras in there. So I really enjoy the design of this. Uh, if I had a baby, I probably, oh, and this is just one large pocket rather than multiple slips. Um, if I had a baby, I would probably use this for a baby, but I really like this. I also really like, I have bags that collapse and I hate that. Like when there's nothing in them and they collapse, cannot stand it. So when I take everything out of this, it stays in its structure. Like it, it's a it's a really um, thick felt. So they sent this to me um, to review for all of y'all. I actually really like it. Uh, it makes it very easy to move this out of the way when little ones want, I almost just dropped it. When little ones want to put their fingers on it or put their fingers on my stitching. 
Um, so they are giving all of you guys a discount code to order one. Um, because I am filming this at night, they haven't sent me my code yet, but I will have it in the description box down below. And I will also do a comment and pin it, um, pin the comment to the top so that um, it's easy to find. Um, so in here is what I did work on. So the first thing is Maple Lane by Frosted Pumpkins. I haven't finished the first part yet, but I've uh, finished all of this bottom portion. I finished the dude, the barista, and I'm working my way up the tree and then to the awning, I guess is what we're going to call it. Um, I purchased the kit, so everything is as called for. Um, and that is the needle minder that came out for this one. I, I just, I love the needle minder so much. Um, and this I am also keeping on all of my Adam Hart floss drop bobbins. So the, what I had in the pocket in the memo caddy is uh, all of these. So these are what they look like in action. Um, and I will have her shop link down below. Um, really, really like these, really enjoying them. Highly recommend. Um, she did put out a statement about them fitting in a bobbin box. They fit in her bobbin box, but she realized after a couple people mentioned it to her that they don't fit in every single bobbin box across the board. Um, I meant to check mine and I completely forgot. So I will probably do that and by the next video, by next week, and let you know if they fit in my box. I have a double-sided box from Joann's. Um, I'm gonna guess they probably don't fit in mine unless you put them sideways just because mine are really like they're really narrow and they really only fit the bobbins. Like they're just wide enough for the bobbins. <laughs> um, so I think I only worked one or two nights on this. Um, I remember working on it while we watched Yellowstone, which is what we're watching right now. I did finish Gilmore Girls um, towards the beginning of the month of October. Um, so my, my yearly viewing of Gilmore Girls is over. Um, but we are watching Yellowstone with Kevin Costner. Ugh, what a fantastic show. I mean, first of all, Kevin Costner, right? Um, second of all, it is just, it is well written. The casting is amazing. The, the scenery, the farm, the ranch that it takes place in, takes place in Montana, it just is beautiful. Um, and it's just, I, what was I thinking about? It kind of reminds me of like Breaking Bad meets, uh, what's a, what's a cowboy show? It's like if Breaking Bad went country, right? <laughs> and was about cattle <laughs> and farmland. Um, so if you have not seen Yellowstone, highly, highly recommend you watch it. Um, it's, we have the DVDs, but we're also watching it on Amazon Prime through the Paramount subscription. It's my mom's, so I don't, I don't know. I think it's Paramount though. Um, the other thing I've been working on and it is almost finished is a gift for a family member and I'm not going to tell you who it is um, in case that family member is watching. But this is the Autumn Lane Stitchery Santa that came out in the 2020 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Edition. I did one of these last year. It is one of my 
favorite designs that Erin has ever done. Ever, ever, ever. I love this Santa. I call him the Mackenzie Child Santa because he's got um, the courtly check. Um, but I just think the shading, I mean, Aaron's color theory is fantastic and his background as a, as an artist really shows in his designs. Um, they're just, they're so well thought out. And so I'm going to finish this the same way as the one last year. Although now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if I did the same count fabric as last year because the one last year was a perfect fit on one of those mini cutting boards but I don't know why this looks like it's gonna be too big I don't know if it will be it just looks like it will be um so yeah all I have left I have like four stitches down here of white to do and then I have to do all the like you know stuff around the, the outside of him. And this fabric is the same fabric that I'm doing the Caterpillar Lucky Nutcracker on. This is a Be Stitch Me. Mm. Thirty-two or twenty-eight Neptune opalescent. You can see the shininess. Um the other we're probably going to pull out our Christmas decorations this weekend. Don't judge me. Um, I love Christmas so much. Uh, Christmas decorations give me so much life. Um, so we'll probably, <laughs> we're probably going to go to a pumpkin patch on Halloween. Uh, and then come home and take out the Christmas decorations. Um, so... Last year's, I did it on a tan um, natural light Ada. Na yeah, natural light Ada. I'm almost positive because it was a leftover piece that I cut off of Farmhouse Christmas. Yes, I'm pretty sure. So, um, I thought it would be really nice on the blue with the opalescent, kind of give it a little bit more of a wintry vibe. So, um, yeah, so this is almost done. I love this little guy. I definitely stitched all of him while watching for Yellowstone. Um, so he, he's definitely developed a love for Kevin Costner. Um, so that... That's all I've worked on. Um, but just because I lost my stitchy bug does not mean my wallet lost its stitchy bug and I did purchase a lot. So let me show you. First things first. Um, this is not really stitching related, but it's kind of become my floss tube basket where I put everything that I want to show inside of it and it keeps it together for me um in so i'm in fresno and next to us is clovis um and in downtown clovis there are these really cool antique stores and we like to go a, probably about once a month because i feel like that's usually when there's enough turnover to make it worth it um but this one store in particular <clears throat> this one store in particular sells a lot of longer burger baskets and I grew up my mom collects longer burger baskets she also has the dishes um and so I've kind of grown up with like this very strong presence in my mom's decor of longer burger baskets she uses them for everything and I've kind of hopped on that train. Um, so I found this basket um, at the antique store. It came with the liner and the fabric liner, the plastic liner and the fabric liner, which is kind of rare. Um, and it's one of the fabrics that I really like. It actually kind of is very similar to my um, 
plaid shirt, but it's like a dark green and navy plaid. Um, but it's just the perfect size to hold all of my things. Um, and it was part of the collector's club. So I was really excited about that. Anyways, let's, let's look inside the basket now. Um, one of the things I ordered um, over the past couple weeks is a project bag. Now I'm trying not to buy project bags because now that I know how to make them, thanks to Liz from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch, I have bought fabric and I've been making my own project bags. However, every so often <laughs> a project bag comes along and the fabric is something I cannot pass up. I have one that I will be purchasing tomorrow. I will be on at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to buy it. Um, and I'm not gonna tell y'all because I don't want y'all to steal it from me. I'm just kidding. It's Painted Leaf Co., um, which is uh, Stitchy Sarah Reed's mom and sister. They do project bags and tomorrow, Friday, they are putting up for sale the Nutcracker project bag and I will get one. Yes, I've been on the hunt for Nutcracker fabric and I haven't been able to find any. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy one from them. Um, so this one, I could not pass up. It's from the 805 Stitcher. I have a couple other of her bags. It's Wizard of Oz. If they had two of these, I would have bought two and given one to my mom. Um, so sorry, mom, I'm keeping this. Um, this is a retired Riley Blake fabric. I purchased, you can purchase certain fabrics from this collection on Etsy. They are a lot more expensive than they were when they first came out. Um, and I, I bought one, I bought like half a yard because it was so expensive, but now I don't remember which one it was, but it wasn't this. I'm almost positive it wasn't this. It was some. It was a different one. Um, and then the inside is the Yellow Brick Road fabric that is also from the same collection. Um, in it, she gave me this cute little card. Um, oh wait, no, that's sorry, that's a different one. This cute little card, and wrote me a little note, and included. A matching needle minder of the scarecrow who is my favorite my favorite is the scarecrow um, so I was really excited to find this if I find another one of these project bags I will buy a second one so that my mom can have one don't worry mom I did not forget about you um, okay so then oh something else I got at the antique store there's one antique store that's kind of like antiques slash boutique and uh, people put things there that they've like actually made um, so this was something that somebody had made and they were selling um, I thought this would go perfectly with my year-round decor that is up when it's not Halloween or Christmas everything is bee themed for the most part but it's got the cutest little honey bee and I just think it's so cute. I mentioned, or I remember Courtney mentioning in one of her videos that she learned how to make these. I think Cheyenne got a kit and she made them. And Courtney was like, now that I know how to make these and know that it's so easy, I'm just gonna make them rather than buy them. I need to ask her how to do that. Because I, I would totally make these for myself. Um, because I feel like it would be pretty easy. Eh? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I just, I thought this, I could not pass this up. This is so cute. So I really like that. What else? Um, oh, I picked this up. This is something that Priscilla and um, Christy, the Java, Java Girl Stitches, showed last year. And last year I couldn't find any of them. And this year I found one at my Walmart. And then my mom found a couple in Arizona that she's bringing to me. Um, these are little ornaments from Walmart. But they look like 
Ray Dunn um, writing and they are really cute on different finishes. So um, I am excited to incorporate these into some Christmas finishes um, or maybe revamp some of the ones that I did last year. Um, okay, I have my fabric of the month from Fiberlicious and I cannot for the life of me remember if I showed you September's fabric. Did I? I feel like one of you is like, yeah, you did. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show it to you anyways. So this is September's fabric of the month. This is rustic fall. I feel like I, now that I'm showing it, I feel like I remember showing it, but it's just a really pretty burnt reddish orange coral color. Um, I think now that I'm thinking about this, I think I also said that this would look really pretty with Amira. Um, so, ooh, maybe I will work on my Halloween fairy. Maybe that will get me back into stitching. We're going to try that. So then, um, October's fabric of the month. So freaking good. Okay. Okay, first look at this tag. Look at these little, so cute. It's called Wicked Nights. And, oh, wow, look at that. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. It is, um, I would say the the green is, is showing up pretty much the same, but I would say the blue has a little bit more of a teal color to it in person, maybe. Yeah, but the pops of green, oh man. I gotta find a really good mirror for this one. I wonder, one of the ones that I've had my eye on but I haven't, I haven't purchased yet is Shakespeare's Fairies. I wonder how this would go with Shakespeare's Fairies. If you know which one I'm talking about, let me know your thoughts. Because I feel like, although that's a really big pattern from what I remember, and I don't know if this would be big enough. I'd have to figure that out. And y'all know, I am not the best at measuring my fabrics. <laughs> um, but this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Um, okay, and then the second to last thing. I got my floss from Color and Cotton for the monthly subscription. I get 10 skeins of all colors. Um... I still have them in the packaging. I just love the way they package everything. So if you don't want to be spoiled, um, look away. Give you a second. So this is the first. Actually, you know what? Because well, you're not gonna know by if I named them. Maybe you will. I don't want to take them out. They're too pretty. So this is the first pack. I really like these two colors. Well, I mean I like all of them, but these two colors are really pretty. Um, and the more I'm, I'm, I've gotten these for, I want to say this is my third month getting on the, on the subscription and the more I've gotten them, the more I realized I am, my hair is like crazy. Um, the more I've realized I am more attracted to the prim colors. I still like the brights. This is, this is considered brights, I think. I don't think these are prim. Um, because when you look at them, yeah. I still like the brights, but I feel like I'm more inclined to use the prim colors in my stitching. The prim pack, I'm obsessed with. I love all of these colors. These two are freaking fantastic. 
these two are also fantastic. I just, I really like these. But I like, there's always, because they come in two separate packs, I always, whenever I get them, I'm like, I like one more than the other. So I'm like, maybe I should see if I could switch to be 10 skeins of Prim and see how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, these are so pretty. Um, okay, so color and cotton, done, put away. If you looked away, you can turn back around. Um, the last thing that I got was very unexpected and it's just, it came at such a great time. Um, I got a little card from my friend Memphis Sarah. I will always call her Memphis Sarah. I will never just call her Sarah. She will always be Memphis Sarah to me. <laughs> she sent me the cutest little Halloween card and inside is this skein of Forbidden Fiber Floss. This is Toil and Trouble. And funny thing is, is I was actually looking at this floss and I was slowly putting together an order and this was in there. Um, I love this. I mentioned this in my unboxing of the Starlight Sleepy Hollow box. Um, Forbidden Fiber was the floss in there. Leanne, I, I don't know how, I, I do not know how she does it. I don't, I don't understand the process of dyeing floss. Like Ymir will show videos or pictures here and there and I'm just, I always just stare at them like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't understand. Like I finally just like maybe a month ago understood how you dye fabrics to have multiple colors in them, but like in a pretty way, you know? Um, I, I do not understand how you dye floss like this. It is so unique and it is so pretty. And if you have not used Forbidden Fiber Floss yet, you need to. You need to. Um, so these, these are probably, I, I'm going to say it. These are by far my favorite fancy flosses is Leanne's Forbidden Fiber. Love it. Um, so, and I, I told Sarah, I was like, I got your card and like, I wanted to cry. Like this, this came right in the middle of my stitchy bug going on vacation and I just, wanted to cry and it was like the simplest little note just saying like thinking of you type of a thing and I yeah so Sarah thank you again because I've already thanked you uh multiple times but thank you again um this is going this card now that I've shown it it will be going in a very special place probably in my bag so I can see it always um that is everything I am going to do a giveaway in honor of Halloween, which is this weekend on Sunday. This is pulled from the stash of patterns that one of my stitchy friends sent me to give away. This is Meet Jack by Bobby G Designs. So to enter this giveaway, I will do, it's open internationally. Um, to enter this giveaway, um, you have to use the word Halloween um, and just let me know what your plans are for Halloween. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I think we're going to go to a pumpkin patch. Um, we did it last year. We went to this, this one particular pumpkin patch, um, that has a train and a hayride and it has lots of things to do other than just looking at pumpkins. Um, and so, uh, I think we're gonna go do that. Um, I don't know if we're gonna trick or treat just cause we, we don't know, we still don't really know the neighborhoods that well. We do live next to a neighborhood that I think would be okay to trick or treat at, but I don't know. And Jackson's only like one and a half and so it would, it's really just Amelia and I don't know, I don't think she's, really going to be that heartbroken. She, she's never been trick or treating yet. So, um, I don't know. Uh, that'll probably be like a last minute decision. 
Um, but then <laughs> we will probably switch over to Christmas shortly thereafter. Um, I don't know why it does not feel like Halloween to me. I mentioned this on my Instagram and I, and I, I think a lot of people were kind of like, like, uh, um, you know, it's just feeding into the corporate part of Christmas where they're, they're already bringing out Christmas decorations. Like I was in Target today and everything is already out. Um, but for me, it's, it's more so like the feeling in the air, like when I'm at work, when I'm at home, the weather. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't feel like Halloween. Like I have my decor up for fall and Halloween and you know, it just, it just doesn't feel like Halloween to me. And I don't know. I don't know why. It's kind of like my stitchy bug going on vacation. I don't know why. I don't know why it left. I don't know why it said sayonara. I got a one-way ticket and I'll be back when I want to be back. It's kind of like Halloween is like, mm, I think I'm going to sit out this year. Um, and, and I did not say anything to anybody, not even Brett, that I was feeling that way. And then the other day, Brett turned on the Santa Claus with Tim Allen and who I just found out is part of conservative Hollywood. Um, and, uh, I like, I kind of looked at him, like I wasn't objecting to watching the Santa Claus because I could watch that movie like all year. I, I really, really like those movies. Um, but I kind of gave him a look like, why are you putting on a Christmas movie? And he was like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like Halloween. It feels like Christmas. And I was like, Okay, agreed, but okay. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. Um, I remember doing a poll on Instagram when I said it, and I remember there were some people who said it does feel more like Christmas than Halloween. Um, and then Courtney was just like, <laughs> stop trying to take away my holiday. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm curious if anybody else feels that way. Um, and, and I have definitely had years where it doesn't feel like Christmas. There was one year, I remember it was when we were still living in San Diego. I don't know if it was when I was in Orange, if I was in law school, or if it was just when I was home visiting from college, but it just like, it just did not feel like Christmas. And I was just not in a christmas -y mood. And I feel like it's this way for Halloween. I'm just not in a Halloween mood. I, I have not watched Hocus Pocus at all because I'm not in the mood. I've watched Nightmare Before Christmas twice and only because Amelia wanted to watch them. I don't know. I don't know. So that's everything. Probably mo the not, not the most exciting floss tube update I've ever done. Um, probably nobody is still here talking to me. If you are, cheers. If you are still here, let me know what you're drinking. This is a Shiraz. Shiraz? No, Shiraz. Shiraz is a different kind. Um, if you want to enter the giveaway, use the word Halloween. Um, or if you don't celebrate Halloween, because not everybody celebrates holidays, um, my some family members for religious reasons do not. So, uh, you know, to each their own. Um, I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt to say what my plans are because I have no idea. Um, I'm going to try stitching tomorrow. I'm going to try finishing this Santa cause I just want to get it done. And then I think I will pull out all of my whips and just kind of look them over and see what is calling my name. Now that I mentioned it earlier, I'm thinking maybe Halloween Fairy. Um, just to get in those last couple days of October, you know, some stitching. Um, definitely won't be done by Halloween like I had originally planned. Shocker. 
Uh, my Thanksgiving Harvest Fairy will not be done by Thanksgiving. Shocker. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I try. Um, so, I think, yeah, I think I'll pull out Halloween Fairy. That sounds like a good one. I do have another trip to Mammoth coming up for a court appearance, so I will have a whole night of, like, uninterrupted five, four or five hours of stitching in a hotel room. So I am, I am excited for that. Um, and, and lots of audiobooks, too. Um, so that's everything. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, so, oh, something I was going to say about losing your stitchy bug. Um, I don't feel like a lot of people talk about it, but I also don't feel like there's anything wrong with it. You know, if you lose your stitchy bug, take a break. You know, you're probably burned out. That's probably what it is for me. I'm probably burned out. Um, and I don't want to push it because if I push it, then I'm going to stop enjoying it. And then I'm not going to want to do it anymore. So if you lose your stitchy bug, take your time. Do not hurry back. Maybe go try something else for a little while. Like I'm couponing. Um, that's, it's actually been kind of fun. Different, but fun. Um, a lot of math. <laughs> I did not go to math school. I went to law school. So <laughs> that, that's that been interesting. Um, so yeah, losing your stitchy bug. There's nothing wrong with it. Do not be ashamed of it, especially, and this is something that I felt like I dealt with over the last few weeks, is the guilt. As a floss tuber who puts out videos every week, who is a rep for a cross-stitch company, I felt guilt behind not stitching. And that's okay, but you don't have to feel guilty. It's okay to lose your stitchy bug, but you don't have to feel guilty. The world is not going to stop just because you stop stitching for a few days, a few weeks, a few years. It's, it's okay. I think I'm talking more to myself <laughs> than anybody else. I'm probably just actually talking to myself because I'm rambling at this point and I'm pretty sure nobody is watching. I think I, I'm also the world's lightest lightweight. I've only had two sips. Those two sips were while I was on camera. And, well, there you go. So I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will see you next week with hopefully more stitching. If not, I do know, I do know I've ordered more stuff. So I will at least show you something haul-wise. <laughs> Maybe I'll start FFOing to get me back into it. Okay, now I really need to stop because I really am just rambling. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what to do with my hands. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>